Hi, I'm Trekker Wilson, and I believe nature can help you. As a Gen X mom currently navigating my own midlife crisis, it's been difficult at times. But the one thing that's helped me over and over again is getting out into nature and using the outdoors as an opportunity to reconnect to myself, to my family, and find my center, and hopefully find my true purpose. Feeling this way, I decided a three-week family camping trip across Switzerland would help me manage my mental health. So if you're feeling like me, a little bit lost in life, looking for a mental reset, or just need some outdoor inspiration, let's do this together. So this is our fourth day at Camping the Glaciers. Click around this video for links to the previous days. Every day out here feels like I'm getting a little closer to the clarity and purpose I've been searching for. I'm sharing these videos to show how nature can help, to immerse us all in the beauty of Switzerland, share my genuine reactions, and to reminisce. I think that's what we all need right now, and I'd be honored to have you along. For today's Dose of the Outdoors, we'll be traversing a tiny part of this 46 kilometer long Mont Blanc Massif, or Mass of Mountains, named for the highest peak within it and the highest point in Western Europe. It's home to more than 20 glaciers and 11 peaks over 4,000 meters. Our hike covers an eight kilometer loop from La Fauli to Ferret, passing through alpine meadows, forests, and glacier-fed streams. This massif is massive. Don't click away. We've got mountain animals, rare views, crazy family moments, and some unexpected twists still ahead. Oh, look it. Do you see? Donkey! There's some... Donkeys. Donkeys there. Do you see those? Let me zoom in. Yes, there they are. They're so cute. Look. Actually, donkeys. You see the donkeys? Wow, so many. So Look cute. it. Whoa. They're mountain. Look at you guys. They're Mount- mountain donkeys. Mountain donkeys. Yeah. yeah. Fun. And Daddy and Huxley are right up ahead of us. Whoa, check this view out. There's somebody behind us too. Hey, there's the campground right down there. So what kind of a cool campground is that? It's on this side. Oh look, more beautiful mountains. Yeah, you did do a video of the glacier behind I us. I sure did. Look at it. Wow, we're going to have that view all day today. Ooh, amazing. Mommy, we're almost up. Oh, we're almost up. Okay. Look at this view. I mean, this is why I came out here. Nature has a way of grounding me, reminding me that all my worries and doubts are so small compared to the world around me. And sharing this with my family has been major for me. You guys see our campsite? Where is it? There. In the trees somewhere down there, right? What a cool campsite. What do you see? Are they? Oh, they're right here. There they are. (laughs) Meh. Meh. Right off the trail. Not talking back, are they? That's okay. Try again. Meh. 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 Meh.
Good try, bud. <laughs> I don't think they like getting yelled at, though. Mommy. Yeah. Okay. Little spot for take a break. Ooh. It's a nice spot. Yeah, let's do a picnic here. I think I like this moment so much because even while dealing with my internal conflict, I can still be strong enough to provide for my family. Laughs, nourishment, a sense of belonging. If you're feeling stuck like I am, don't give up. Take note of the things that you can do and know that just spending time with your family is enough. How's the hike so far? Good. 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 Really hot. Beautiful day. Yeah, loving it. Nice breeze. Ooh, really good breeze, huh? Okay. Halfway, kids are doing great. Yeah. Mommy's doing great. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. Where are we going? Let's see. We're going there to that little town, Ferret. And then we're going to cross the river, which you can't see right now. And we're going to walk back to the campgrounds right under that glacier over there. Ah, you know, I'm going to take a picture for you here real quick. Yeah, there you go. Super cool. There are all the peaks. Cooling off in the fountains of Ferret, nothing feels better for a mid-hike break. And if you're hiking with kids, this is really fun for them. Cold water, fresh mountain air, and some family laughs. It's funny how something so simple can make such a difference. Okay. Woo, nice and cold. Davy's turn. Get your head in there, your whole head. It's going to feel good. Tell her, Hux. It's it's good, baby. But I'm gonna have wet hair. Yeah, that's the idea. Then it'll keep you nice and fresh. There you go. Ooh. Um. How's it feel? Better? Yeah. Yeah. But wet. <laughs> yeah, but wet. <laughs> 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 my shaggy dogs. <laughs> my little shaggy puppies. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Nice and refreshing. <laughs> Daddy too. Oh yes. <laughs> So the hike so far has been really good. The views, fantastic. You've seen them, you agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments below. But I would have to say one of my more favorite hikes would be hiking by a water source or like a lake or along a creek or river. There's just something about the sound that's so calming and refreshing. And uh, this is what we get to do now. So the rest of the hike is following the glacial runoff, basically the water, all the way to the campsite. It's really pretty. I hope you can hear it. How's the hiking been for you? Good. Yeah, you like it so much? Yeah, and the camping? You like camping too? Yeah, good. I'm so glad. I'm so proud of you. You've gone a lot of kilometers today. I think the most you've ever done. Really good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you.
Oh, more mud. More mud, huh? Okay, let's see it. What are you gonna do? In the mud? Or not in the mud? A few. Okay, you can either step in the rocks. There you go. Those are good choices. And a little bit of mud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the water takes the path of least resistance. Okay, watch out. There's a doggy coming. There they go. trail that's okay are you good okay let me know if you need help I'm right here with you that's what's being outside getting dirty <laughs> that's what's being outside is for getting dirty I agree There's the first part of our trail, our lunch spot, and the beautiful glaciers in the background. The calm is relentless. Another day, another adventure, and honestly, another step towards feeling more like myself again. If you're going through something similar, a midlife crisis like me, or just feeling stuck, try and get outside. I know how lucky I am to be in a place like this but you don't need Swiss Alps to feel the benefits of nature. Just stepping outside, in your backyard, a local park, or even just opening a window can make a huge difference. Start small and let the outdoors work its magic. Honestly, nature can help you. So we made it back to our campsite, as you can see, all in one piece, happy and healthy. <laughs> And it was an amazing day. So I'm glad you guys could come along for that. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. 21 days, five breathtaking locations, and countless memories. Over the next few weeks, I'll be sharing all the details, the insights, the experiences, the beautiful scenery, plus tips on camping, hiking, and finding peace in nature. If this resonates with you, subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to share more with you.